Good morning, Grade 5. This morning in NS, we're going to have a look at uses of metals. Before we start, we'll do some revision. Number one, list as many properties of metals as you can think of. Number two, are non-metals magnetic? Number three, Tom used magnetism to help his uncle. Which metal in the junkyard was attracted to the magnet? Number four, are all metals magnetic? Number five, why are most posts, pots and pans made of metal? Number six, why do some pots and pans have handles made of plastic or wood? And number seven, why does iron that is shiny when it is new become dull and blotchy when it stands, stands outside for a long time. Number eight. What does rust look like? Describe what it looks and feels like. Number nine. What is another name for rust? Ten. Do all metals rust? Eleven. Your dad is putting up a new iron fence in front of your house. What would you tell him to do to make the fence last long? Number 12. Look at the picture below of a hammer. What is the head of, of each hammer made from and why do you think this material was used? Revision number 13. If you had to advise your parents or a family friend who wants to buy a set of chairs and tables for their garden to replace the plastic ones which have broken, what would you advise them are the best types of furniture for outside in the garden? Explain your answer. Number 14. Some jewellery is made from metal. What types of metal is jewellery made from and why do you think some of these metals are so expensive? Number 15. Why do you think your kitchen utensils such as knives, forks and spoons are normally made from metal and not plastic and wood? Why then do fast food restaurants give you plastic utensils with your takeaways? Processing materials. Key questions. How can we make new materials? And how does the amount of material we start with affect the amount of new material we can make? Processing materials. When we combine materials, new materials are made. The properties of the new materials are often different from the properties of the materials we started with. There are many ways to process existing materials into new materials. There are also many reasons why we would need to process materials into new materials. When we bake a cake, we are processing flour, eggs and other ingredients that, that may not taste very nice on their own into cake which tastes really good. We process materials to make them stronger or more durable or waterproof or even just to make them look more beautiful or interesting. New materials that form our mixing materials are sometimes called mixtures. Combining materials. We have learned that iron rust over time and then this, this process speeds up when the iron is in contact with water. Have you ever noticed rust on the knives and forks in your home? Probably not. This is because they are not made of iron but of stainless steel. But what is stainless steel? Mixing Often when we mix materials together, the properties of the new material or product is different from the properties of the materials we started with. Do you remember what the word property means? From the previous chapter, 
when we looked at the properties of metals and non-metals. Mixing and setting. Have you ever tasted jelly? Jelly comes in many different colors and flavors. Which is your favorite? To make jelly, we must dissolve jelly power powder in, in hot water. When a solution of jelly powder in water cools down, something very special happens. The solution sets and turns into a delightfully wobbly sweet treat. The jelly powder has been processed into something new. That is what the next activity is all about. Activity Making Jelly The materials you're going to need are the following. A packet of jelly powder, a bowl, a cup for measuring, hot and cold water, and, and a spoon for mixing. The instructions are, number one, read the instructions on the packet of jelly. Number two, pour the jelly powder into the bowl. Look carefully at the dry jelly powder. Number four, what does it look, look like? Five, touch the jelly powder with your finger. What does it feel like? Place a few grains of the jelly powder on your tongue. What does it taste like? 6. Write your findings down. Follow the instructions on the packet to make the jelly. Number 8. Cool the jelly until it sets and describe the properties of the prepared jelly in the same way that you did for the starting materials. Questions. Number 1. What materials did you start with? These are called the starting materials. Number two, what happened to the jelly powder when you mixed it with the water? Number three, why is the water a different color? Number four, how did the jelly mixture change when it cooled down? Number five, write a short paragraph to describe how the process has changed the properties of the jelly. Try to use as many of the following words in your paragraph. Investigation, powder, powdery, sand, water, disappear, color, change, mixture, stiff. Investigate. In the picture above, some strawberries have been added to the jelly after it was mixed with the water but before it was cooled to set. It looks delicious. We could say the strawberries are embedded in the jelly. Investigate. Have you ever watched builders mix concrete when they want to build a wall or a house? Look at the people in the pictures below. What are they doing? The people in the pictures are mixing sand and water with building cement. The mixture of sand, water and cement is called concrete. Concrete is like mud when it is wet, but when it dries out, it sets into hard, strong material. Concrete can be used to make bricks and pavements and to plaster. In the first picture, people are using spades to mix the concrete. They are using spades like we would use a spoon to stir sugar in, our, in, in, in tea or coffee. The people are using them, their muscles to do the work required for mixing the, con mixing the concrete. Investigate again. In the second picture, the machine on the right is called a cement mixer. This machine mixes all the ingredients by turning mechanically, like an electric food mixer. Electrical energy does the work required for mixing the concrete. More investigating. 
Real bricks are actually made by firing the bricks in a special oven called a kiln to bake them and make them hard. A potter is someone who makes objects such as pots out of wet clay. Once they have dried and been fired, the clay becomes hard. Mixing and cooking Cooking food is also a form of processing. I'm sure you all have seen a raw egg, what it looks like. The same egg look, looks quite different when it is cooked. Notice how the egg white is transparent when it is raw and white when it is cooked. When it is raw, the egg is runny, like liquid. When it is cooked, the egg is solid but soft like rubber or soft plastic. Look at the pictures below. This is a flow diagram of how to make a cup of tea. During the exam you would be asked to draw a flow diagram of how to make something, for instance, flapjacks. Here are a few key concepts. Materials can be processed in many different ways to make new materials or products. When we process materials, the new materials have, may have different properties. The purpose of most processing methods is to make materials more useful. Revision Number one, list three reasons why we process materials. Two, give an example of a solution from everyday life. Three, what is stainless steel? Four, below are two pictures. Describe the properties of the materials in both pictures and what process took place to get picture one to picture two. Number five, this boy in the picture below has broken his arm and has a cast on. Why do you think a cast for a broken arm is made from plaster of Paris? Here's a hint for you. Think of the properties before and after mixing and setting. Well done. You have now completed the chapter on uses of metals. Were you able to answer all the questions? If you struggled, please go over these slides again. Hope to see you soon and look after yourself. Bye-bye.